Hello, this is Charlie Lorenz, the Abalone Hunter. This is the Abalone Hunting Report for the weekend of Saturday, June the 8th and Sunday, June the 9th. For the tides we have at 6.05 a.m. a minus 0.78 feet. And then on Sunday at 6.39 in the morning a minus 0.78 feet again. In any case, uh, fairly low tides, not super, super big minus tides, but definitely low enough so we can go out there and do a little bit of abalone rock picking. But as far as weather goes, be really careful out there because we do have small craft advisories with gale warnings throughout the weekend. On Saturday, we have north winds, 20 to 30 knots, with waves coming from the northwest, 14 feet at 11 seconds. Pretty big out there. And then on Sunday, north winds, 15 to 25 knots, with waves again coming from the northwest from at 13 feet 11 seconds. Basically what we have are kind of short intervals between wave sets. So when you look at here comes one wave, and then here comes a second wave. Generally between those waves, um, they're saying it's going to be anywhere between 10 and 11 seconds. Um, pretty short, so it's going to be kind of a rough, choppy, a lot of wind waves. So if you're going to plan on diving this weekend, plan to go somewhere protected, especially from the northwest we weather, you know, like Dan Dam, Russian Gulch, Casper Cove, there's a few others out there in our area that uh, offers such protection. But go to subsurface progression and talk to the gang out there. They'll prob probably be able to help you in deciding where to go for a dive. I went diving today, Thursday, at uh, Casper Cove on the north side. It wasn't too rough today, but still all in all, the visibility wasn't super great. Anywhere between eh, eight to 10 feet bad, especially for looking for abalone, plenty of visibility. But that was in shallow water. If you go to deeper water, you'll probably find it a little bit better. But again, I want to prepare you for a rough weekend, so look for those protected coves. And friendly advice, stay close with your dive buddy. Always really good to stay close with your dive buddy. And especially if you could enact your um, dive buddy kind of a up and one diver down, one diver up plan. In other words, as one diver's down there looking for the abalone, one diver is up on the surface, you know, just there for, just in case something goes wrong, like if you get entangled in kelp or something, at least he can be there or she can be there to help you out, okay? And then you can just go back and forth, you know? Next diver goes down and looks for abs while the other one is, you know, watching out and then vice versa, flip back and forth. Um, a real nice safe way to dive with each other okay so again if anything does go wrong out there you've got a dive buddy close by to help I see all oh, way too many times where we've got two dive buddies they're diving way 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 apart from each other and if something happens usually the other diver he, he may not even know you're in trouble okay especially with those waves being so large out there may not be able to see you or what's happening with you on the back side of that wave or the back side of that rock if you guys get really separated. So be careful out there. Stay close. Have a good abalone hunt. Take care. Bye. So for more information on visibility reports and any other information you might be interested in, call Subsurface Progression at area code 707-964-3793. Have a good abalone hunt and be safe out there.